forerunner, who was divinely prepared by the great God Allah. His name was Marcus Garvey. Islam? Islam. I don't think we talk about Garvey enough more, so that's a perfect piece. Islam. 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 I'm going to quote this real fast and get out of the way and let this in right there, man. This is from a message to the people of course now from philosophy, page 34. No race is free until it has a strong nation of its own. Islam? Uh, its own system of government. Its own order of society. Never give up this idea. Let no one persuade you, excuse me, let no one persuade you against it. It is the only protection for your generation and your race. Hold on to the idea of an independent government and nation as long as other men have them. Never be satisfied to always live under the government of other people because you will always be at their mercy. Islam? Islam. Visualize for yourself and your children and generations unborn, your own kings, emperors, presidents, your own government officials and administrators who look like you. Islam? Islam. So in the spirit of Garvey, we're going to demonstrate. Yes, sir. Islam. Islam, peace, and love to all. Wow. I'm Rasmus Bey, and we will argue the publications. You'll see we have the literature over there because in order to change the people, you must change the literature. We're going to do Taj Tuesday, and I'm going to do a demonstration about a half an hour on astrologic or astrology. First thing I need you to know is that astrology is the study of the working of nature and the Jew are part of nature. Astrology is not a cult, aside from the fact that someone took culture off of the end of it. It's culture. It has always been more science. Every uh, religion that one might have gotten involved with will use certain terms and symbols that I will show you today. We will show you today it comes from astrology or astrologic, not the other way around. Now what happened is, in an effort to get you, us, to not, in fact, know ourselves, they had to take you away from, or to attempt to take you away from, astrologics. And that is what seems to have successfully have been done, because most people do think that it is, in fact, some wicked, right, satanic, process of, of, of learning and it is absolutely not now there are people who utilize it in that fashion because everything that you deal with is the energy and how you deal with that energy makes it either a negative or a positive or good or bad so you're pulling in the energies at all times it's around you and you're pulling in how you utilize it is what it shall manifest to be so with that you have certain elementals, which when you learn astrologics, you, that's the first, one of the first things you learn, are the elements. This is why you send your children to elementary school, to learn about the elements. However, the school system that we have been subjected to does not teach about the elements. But that's where they got the idea of elementary school. So we have to start teaching our children the elements, sisters. When we have children, when we, uh, yes, when we want to have children, we would utilize astrologics to conceive so that we would bring beings in from the monad plane. Now what that is, our, if we were in the physical plane, we have nomads, correct? That's physical bodies wandering on the physical plane. But on the astral plane, we have monads, which are souls, bodies without them, or souls without the body. When we mate and we utilize the sexual energy, we are pulling in, because that is the strongest energy that exists. We, of course, it's become debased. We are pulling in a monad. When we see our society and we look at what we, sisters have brought in because nothing comes in unless it comes through the womb. Nothing. We need to start looking at ourselves and say, what, how are we mating? How are we dealing with this sexual energy? It really is a responsibility that lies on the sister that does. 
So when we decided in the past that we would concede, we were certainly took into consideration what the influences were from the cosmos. The five-pointed star represents, blanketly represents the cosmos, but there are other symbols that represent the cosmos as well, or certain planets, which are the gods. If the moon's tide, if the moon's influence is strong enough to pull the tides of oceans, we're talking about the one out there too, like miss all of them, on the entire earth one. And we're made up of 75% water. For us to say, oh, I don't believe in that, is either we are ignorant or we are vain. You choose which one it is. I'm not judging. But that's what we have to recognize and acknowledge with ourselves. That if we do not recognize and acknowledge our merciful, merciful gods, which are what all of the stories that you read about, all of the religions. Uh, a lot of us went to, uh, we've done a lot of Egyptian studies and we'll talk about some of the planets, not knowing that we're talking about the representation of the planets, like Myotis Libra. So sometimes we'll go into a situation where we, we, we found it, we found the answer and this is it and we praise that we stop there. We have to not stop there, we have to go to the source. The source of the planetary influence that created that attribute or characteristic that got named by those people during that time, those different names. And some of them are they're the same names, different names with the same character. So we have to have full understanding of this. So therefore we go to the source, which means we are sorcerers. Because we're going to, we are the source. Or we are utilizing the source. So again, a sorcerer is not a negative. Thing, unless someone utilizes it that way or accepts that you are using sorcery which is a bad thing, no it is not. We are going to the source and that, that is definitely the mind. So what we want to do today, uh, and one of the things this is that I want to say before we go into our symbology is um, again, going into the astral plane, we talk about when we, when we come together and we have wonderful experiences or sexual experiences and we say it's great, you know, he took me to heaven and back. Literally, that's where you went. You went to the actual plane and you drew back some energy. So we need to be cognizant of what we're bringing back to the earth plane and stop complaining about what we have brought back because we're the ones bringing it back. All right? So the Ark of the Covenant that you've read about in all of different religions, whichever one you may have in the past subscribed to. That ark is the perfect ark created by every woman when she's pregnant. That's the covenant to bring the souls in. That's the true covenant. So it doesn't matter how tall or short or fat or skinny the sister is. When she is pregnant, she creates a perfect ark. True ark of the covenant is held by we sisters. We have a responsibility. And we must come up to that. We cannot sit back, not be, not be responsible, and then complain. We can't do it. So now let's take a look. Some people, I'm sure, have dealt with astrology, and I'm sure you've probably dealt with it in an entertainment purposes only. And believe me, that is not the case. Um, if you have and you've looked at some glyphs, Glyphs are symbol, symbols of different energies. The energies, again, being the planets and or signs. <coughs> the glyph represents that energy. Uh, for instance, let me just do this one fast. I want to erase this. This is the first sign, Aries. And as far as the body is concerned, that's the face. What's the uh, face of the head area? What's the first thing that uh, is created in the womb? It's the head area. And then so you would have Taurus, which would be this. Looks like a little half circle or on the top that's really the throat area that supports the head. So it has a correlation that works, that is science. Science is exacting. Astrology is an exacting science. And once you did your chart, you would be, uh, you would have gone to a counselor. You would need to do any of that because you would find out who you are and you would be able to be yourself, know why you're here. So these are symbols that mean something. So the, front, the symbol that no one ever deals with is what's the symbol for the Earth? They deal with the symbols for the other planets. What about the Earth symbol? The glyph for the Earth. Does anybody know what that is? 
I'm like, well, just, has anybody ever heard of the Master Seal? That's right. That's the glyph for the earth. Now, if you notice, we have it here, and it's divided into four parts, which represents the four seasons of, on the earth plane. 90 degree angles. The three within it are the three signs that make up, starting in the spring, the first three months would be Aries, Taurus, Gemini. And that's a season. So each part of those represent a season. That's when you have the three there. Now, if you would imagine in your mind, this right here on the three dimensional, if you could step aside a little bit, tight, if you could pull this up, three-dimensionally, like so, it's a pyramid, which is a symbol of civilization. All right? Now, let's relate it to something that you deal with in the temples all of the time, if you want to break the seals. Well, they, first of all, these are going to be the cardinal points. Before we do that, these are the cardinal points to start a season, and in the Catholic religion, they call their people cardinals. So we're going to break them. Spring, summer, or you looked at fall and winter. So astrology's been right in front of you all the time when you're circle seven, you're holding around. And it's, the, how it comes out to a seven is that you have four seasons of three, which is a seven. We have seven ruling planets, although there are ten inside this solar system. And for those who know something about going outside of the solar system, well, you've got to know the principles in this one first before you can travel anywhere. So, that's what astrology teaches you, the principles. That's why you're here on this physical plane, this earth plane, which they say is the lowest level. Well, you're here to learn your lessons. Yes. Watch that you have on. Mm -hmm. Is your fixed cardinal points. The watch that you have on. Time. And time never was when man was not. It's called your cardinal points or your four gates. North, south, east, and west. And they're called the north gate, south gate, east gate, west gate. Your three threes are your three deacons, or deaconates. That's where they get the name deacon in the church, but don't tell you its origin, because those sorcerers want to enslave you. And when they say the master seal, in my father's house, there are many mansions. And these are your mansions. And they turn out to be 12 disciples. Disciples come from the number 12. And the 13th one, being what you would call the Messiah, is really not a man. It's the womb of a woman. And humanity is written on her womb. Because she brings us in any one of these gates. And that is the house of the Lord. And when the house of the Lord comes into being, he says, <gasps> I'm out. <laughs> Holy breath. Therefore, you must know what you bring here because you're creators and makers of your own condition. Think. The angels, or angles, were administering to Mary and Yosef, teaching and administering to them for the sons of light that they must bring to the plane of earth. They were cousins. But the women knew the applied science of the number nine, which is three of these gates, wherever she begins, going counterclockwise. Three of these gates, that's three days in that tomb. <coughs> and when that light comes out that tomb, that son of God is prepared for whatever deed they must do 
on the plane made manifest. And you're the best teacher. And that is the universal school. The first school. And so you must be cognizant of that ancient science of self. You can't know yourself if you don't know math. The ancient Moabites are the founders of those mathematical angles. Learn of your ancient mother and father's divine creed. Divine means law of nature. It's not being bad, good, or anything. It is knowing the law, how things work. Now what you do with it, that's up to you. However, don't get upset because you blew it. But you should have known better. You certainly don't mix water with concrete or oil. Because they will separate, won't they? But both of them are good on their own right, am I correct? So evil only exists for the admixture of elements in a wanton manner. For all things are good. And if they come with their admixture of evil, you have the science by which to cast that evil off from that good. Once that is done, that evil is not even evil. It's just a matter of mindset. It's positive and negative forces. And since you are gods, it's time for you to start acting like this. Not believing it, but knowing it. And if I go to Tiani, they know this science too. All the Asiatics on the planet know this science. When you gave it up, and start adopting the idol gods, you fell. Then you started using that wound just according to your feelings and gratifying your lower self and was bringing all kinds of spirits here. Now you're pissed and you're running from Frankenstein. <laughs> and won't take responsibility for what, what you made. But you still have the same power, reverse it. But you gotta go back to those principles of your ancient mothers and fathers to solve it. If you don't, don't worry about it because you already blew it. It's up to it's up to us. Astro logic is going back to that triune principle that can also be called the three kings. And so the triune principle understands that star of Bethlehem. And understand that we stand within it. And I'm a man, but I'm actually the son of man. So woman's man. Who's confused about that? Right? Can you stand? First man? <laughs> Legs, right? Arms, right? And head, right? right? Put your hands out. What good are these hands except to the service of others? Spread them out. Arm. Arm, right? So let's go in a circle. Either way. Arm. Well, these are used to express and to manifest that which is in the head. And the legs take you and move you from a static position to wherever you want to do your deed. So things don't come to man, man goes to things. That action animated is called free will. Whatsoever you will, so it be. Be determined by what's coming out of that thalamus that seed of David, which is the pineal gland. And it has a nerve that looks just like a snake that you saw on the crown of the ancient Misraim sons Islam. and queens. Yes. And that ain't Egypt. That's modern. They're Moabites. That's really that nerve that comes from the thalamus off the pineal that dark center of the brain, and that nerve comes right here to the crown of the nose right here, which is also a pyramid. That is called 
The sixth sense, when activated, it is called the third eye. Arm, leg, leg, arm, head. Allah forward and Allah backwards. Allah and man are one. This love. This love. When you understand that and activate it, you will change conditions. But the most powerful being on the planet is woman, who because she adopted the idol god systems, don't know her power. But it doesn't remove the power. She gave it up because she'd rather worship sons that she produced. They got a belly button. What's she doing worshiping the sun? <laughs> Men don't produce belly buttons. We just inherit them. You, you understand? What well, we understand. You are the creators and makers of your own condition. As you think, so be it. I am that I am, and what I produce is what I am. And you are your forefathers without doubt or contradiction. There ain't no new spirits here. It might be a couple, no new spirits. We just got new bodies. Just like them trees come back, so do you. So let's get real. If you desire to solve this nigger problem, which is all of our problems, that is now plaguing Earth, creating all these earthquakes, these storms, that's going to destroy everything that you thought you built, that you think that's going to make you happy, materialistic, because the Earth is sick of us. We're just cracked it. We keep on claiming that we love God and love each other. We're full of BS, and people need to tell us to our own mouth. And if you want to find somebody that wants to hurt you, if you want to find somebody that wants to cause you injury, if you want to find somebody that wants to hate you, all you need to do is look around and find a believer. Oh my God. <laughs> no, now that's the uncomfortable truth that nobody really wants to talk about because we all been hypocrites. They always believe and then you ain't gonna give me five dollars, huh? Well, Reverend Jones Ziaski. I hope your children go play on 295 at lunchtime. <laughs> you wanna go to hell and burn up? Allah ain't gonna bless you. Yahweh, Yahweh hates anybody that don't give Reverend Jones five dollars. Well, guess what? All of you are gods. The reason they murdered the Nazarene, because the Nazarene blew everybody's stuff out of the water. He said, well, come on, y'all. Stop acting like you don't know what's up. What I am, all men can and will be. So you can come off your games and stop acting like you don't know the laws of your forefathers that y'all abandoned and start following after the gods of Europe, them Romans, and got lost. I didn't come up with my own will. My father sent me, who also has a mother. <laughs> and don't get caught up with me. Just listen to the word and carry it out, and you'll fix this thing. But I ain't saving nothing. You're going to save yourself. Whoever will, let them come. Whoever hears, let them hear. And whatever you will is what you got. So don't blame nobody else, don't blame that devil, and none of your imaginations of these creatures that you created. Because none of them have any power whatsoever except what you give it. They cannot claim any jurisdiction that you don't give up. So you better understand what contracts are because you don't make no covenants to him. Right. Or, now that's the real truth and that's religion broken down to elementary of what it really is. But we give the powers, personalities, for the children. And so the three wise men, understanding the tribal principle, look and they calculate the angles of the star of man. And determine by the womb of woman, the time of birth. And the manger is really not some field thing. What is the sign of the manger? Actually, it's But the sign, 
The sign, the house. What is the house? It's the woman. Now, father comes from pater, which is more than more slack, which comes from paternity, which comes from what? Meiosis? The dropping of the seed, the generation of that seed, Genesis. Right. And the cultivation of that seed to life. What genes are nice. And that is the clay. Now, the molding of the clay is the state of the mind of the woman who is in the process of molding the clay. The brothers don't have to get upset because all we do is fertilize. Like that. Oh. Right? But they do all the work. Nine months. It's nine months. Mm? Ain't that the truth? So how she thinks and how we treat her while she's going through that process has effect on what, how that clay hardens. On top of the fact of what gate she brings in. Now if she's conscious, conscious of herself, she's going to teach that child in the womb. And when that child comes out, if it's a male child or a reflection of herself, See, because you don't, women don't have boys and girls. That's a fiction. Women reproduce themselves. And when they feel like it, they do a miracle and then mutate that female and make us. That's the miracle of the Son of God. And that's the only uniqueness about us as males. Don't make us superior. We're actually mutated eggs of females. That's why the mammary glands are dormant. So you got to get real. This is anatomia or anatomy. And so if you don't know yourself, you're going to have opinions of yourself that you really don't understand and have a wrong concept of life and a disrespect for life. In doing that, nature starts kicking your keisters because she don't play with our belief systems or recognize person or station. When you violate those laws, there is a response called cause and effect, or creed. And from the ancient Sanskrit, creed comes the name or word karma. What you do and what you don't do manifest in what you got. So that's creators, makers of their own. So if you have a concept that the creation is outside of yourself, as corrupted religions, or, no, they're not religions pseudo-religions have taught the people you lose control of self, give it up. Then the sorcerers start sucking on you. And then you start talking talk, talk about them suckers. You know, oh, I'm just doing some good stuff. <laughs> and then the devil can you just start messing up. Your head is wrong. Your concepts are wrong. Because you are capable of bringing yourself out of any condition. But due to the fact that we're tied together, because we've allowed the Romans to perpetrate the fraud concepts of the truth of math and true ancient religion, which is cosmology, it is a knowledge of the universe, and it is the paternity of the universe. Translated, father of the universe. Learn how to use it, not believe it. That for babies. It's not a kindergarten place right now. So we're going to put those things aside. We don't throw them away. We save them for the babies. But we're men and women now, and you must be the scientists that your ancient fathers were so that you can solve the problems and govern this planet. You've been made lord of the planet. You're responsible for this thing. So don't be looking at those shadows. The yeah, devil took my sandwiches. He yeah, took nothing. Gave it up. You're the one that sold your birthright for that red old pot. You're the one who's going to have to reclaim it. And you will not reclaim it with ignorance. Because the people are not destroyed because they ain't prayed enough. You know, I just prayed in one of these days and I'm just going to keep over alive and... <laughs> no. And you're not being hurt because you don't have faith. You're being hurt because you never arrived to fruition. What is fruition? It is gnosis, knowledge. 
because you have not reached the osis of the gnosis, you're being destroyed. And you brought it on yourself. We like to blame other people, but it's the life we have lived that brought this about. But it's also the life that we live with knowledge that can take us out of this crap. That's the science. If you want to know, if you want to say you know yourself, we can all say that. We always say, you know, man, know thyself. All you need to do is ask him and give an answer for the math. You know, don't talk to me. Give me the math. And I'm going to walk with because i got to hurry and catch the plane. And I should be able to take that math, calculate, and call you and tell you what's up. And if I can't, you don't know yourself. Are you following me? So what we're getting out of, we're not disrespecting belief. We're putting it where it belongs, in grade school. In grade school, there's belief, then there's faith, then there's fruition. Belief is for children. It's not wrong. Faith is where that belief has been solidified and substance has been given to it where it has meaning that they start to examine and mathematically use their five senses for to internalize. Fruition is when that knowledge that they acquire from using those five senses, which are all seeing, which is what that eye represents, then they're at the stage of fruition, ready to graduate now, they're ready for the universe, i.e. the world. That's education. And anything else is a fraud. That's what's wrong with us. And then when someone brings knowledge, we get spooked up and scared and run. Right into the same problems that we keep saying we solve them because we believers, that they never solve them. It's because you've got grown people that are little boys and girls. Don't want to admit it. Transacting business in the same woman's names that lynched all the prophets and wondering what's wrong. <coughs> well, people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Go back to those principles of your ancient mothers and fathers. This equilateral, triangle, or triangle principle, 120 degrees. 120 degrees, 120 degrees is still which is still which is still which is still now line man is one and in geometry That circle is called Alpha and Omega. So now we're going to science. You don't need to believe that. You need to apply the science, and you don't need to believe now you know. Now somebody can't come and get your lunch money. All right? You get your sandwiches. You know what I mean? And they don't go take you, you know, to get sick by Chuck E. Cheese with a collar reversed and stuff. All right? All right. Just want to throw that in there. And the last demonstration, we're going to close it out. I see that you have a question. Could you hold that? We're going to demonstrate one more thing, and we'll answer the question. Yeah, if you can. So, you've been told that this triune, or trinity, is the Father, and the Son, and the That's Holy the Ghost. Is. That's what you've been saying. It's not the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. It's the Mother, the Father, father and son. Child. It is you, it is each and every one of you. You are the Trinity. That's why religions cannot find it, it's still they say. They're still searching for what that Trinity is. So if you are that triune, you are one three sixty. Now, and this is the last demonstration we want to show with the symbols. Once you have two triunes, two trinities, two people, they come together. They create this symbol. And that's an abstract of that. Which you which is the Masonic 
orders. They're teaching the secrets of the mother and the son. That's all there is. It's Ma and son. May son. And also in their death chambers. You learn a little bit more about that. My son. That's all there is. <laughs> now the other symbol, Taj, that they may have seen, we gave you the correct. We're going to show you what you see where someone else has claimed this. And that's the hexaphone. These are two trinities coming together. Male and female principles. People call that what? Star of David, Jewish star, everything but what it is. As above, so below. As above, so below. Correct. Uh, that represents the male and female principles coming together and in balance. In balance. This is in balance. Now, if sisters, we came together uh, with a male principle that's out of balance, right? We should draw something that's out of balance as an example. Then. We need not wonder what would come out of that union. It's certainly not going to be something in balance. This is why it's important, and this is what this represents, is the perfect union of the male and female. In harmony. And if you took this in astrology, which we won't go through that now, but you need to learn astrologic, and put it on the wheel, and looked at these points, it will come up with astrological signs that are, in fact, in harmony. As we need to be when we choose our mates and we conceive our children so that we will not have the trinity of a child and of yourself is your sun, your moon, and your ascendant or rising being the same thing. What was on the horizon when you were born which indicates what your physical appearance is. However, the moon is, the, is your soul. That is the real you. The sun is what your father grew you to be which is the, the characteristics that you will play out your moon sign, which the moon are the seeds of the cosmic mother. So that the inside sign or moon sign is the real you, that's your soul. Now if you should have com conflicting elements with your trinity, your moon being, let's say, um, fire, but your rising and your sun being earth, which will put out your own fire, you get in your own way. We never had children. We never conceived children that would have that situation. We knew what the planetary movements were. We know where the moon is. We know where the planets are. And we, and we, we didn't do that. And that's what family planning really was. Now they presented it to you as if parents chose the mates for their children. That's not it. That's not what was happening. We're using the science. Okay, that's the cycle. That's why women cycle 13 times a year. Right. A lot of women don't even recognize that. Let me say this before you. A lot of women don't recognize because they don't know themselves. But when they really think about it, they'll, re they'll acknowledge that. You know, I can't think I came on my period twice this month. Right? All your life you've done that because you actually do have 13 cycles as with the moon. And Harvey, with the moon going around the earth. And then earth going around the sun. And the moon goes around the earth in how many days? I think it's 52 two minutes. And that's in about that amount of time that the moon revolves around the earth, she will drop a seed. But the earth revolves around the sun on 12. Right? 13 and 12 is what? <coughs> 2 and 5 is what? You must understand the science of these circles or these spheres because you affect the atmosphere based on how you use the knowledge of that seven. That's universal science. 
And so you learn the principles of your ancient mothers and fathers so you can sit around and calculate your family, you calculate business, you calculate how you're going to business, you calculate when you're going to travel, when you're not. Because it's not you, it's what the heavens say. That's why the wise men looked into the heaven, check the stars to see what's up. Tell you what's happening and where. That's not because they were super duper guys. They were just doing what's watching nature. So we just gave it up, got spooked up, started making plaster figures and painting to start worshiping them. So how can some something you make be greater than you? And we can add to that too, the spooked up part, um, which which keeps people away from this because they think it's something satanic, or, you know. Only because the Romans told them. That. Only because they took. So, like, if I would stand here and say to one, one, any, anyone who gave me the astrological signs of their household, I could tell them exactly what's going on in their household, and they think that oh, well, that's great. What are you you're psychic? No, I know the elements, and you too need to know the same. So it's not that it's anything special, it's just that you need to learn them, you need to apply it. And with that, I thank you, and we do have, um, we will be sending up classes, we're going to, because astrology, as you can see, is fundamental, and you need to learn step by step, and someone will learn and teach in classes here, I'm sure. We'll be sending up recording uh, videos on, maybe we have questions now. Uh, videos on step by step that we'll make available here so that everybody can get the fundamentals because we're talking about foundational stuff here. Civilizations. There elementary. was a question. Elementary. Elementary. elementary school. Yeah, elementary school. Okay. Thank you. There's a question in the back. Can't breathe. When the Constitution was written, mm -hmm. it was going out the sidereal calendar. Sidereal time. It was shrinking for five hours and a day. Sidereal. And they changed it according to the basic Yes, because they're dealing with energies. Because they already know, as you project, you know how you say, it's so like when you do something out of time and you recognize it's done out of time, and you know that in order for it to live, that you must not be in, out of harmony with nature, and you make an, uh, an adjustment so that it projects to the minds of the people and they adjust themselves and we get back in harmony and they take the power. Of course, that's what a sorcerer would do. But, you know, if they're working on a low line. And I understand exactly, because that's exactly what they did too. You filled up here, six and chestnut. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, first, I want to bring this to attention. You made a statement about woman being the spring of God. And you want to make this we did not come to home. We came to ourselves. You understand? But we're all women in the context of which we're speaking of. So, mm -hmm. just, so no, we are women within ourselves. Yes, we, and I'm a woman. We understand that. Years, so, you understand? The prophet says, well, who's the name of the first physical man? Uh, not woman. Because uh, man, man is. Because, is. because, because a woman is man. The demonstration that you was demonstrating. The prophet said, you understand? How many hours come in? How many days are in the cycle? Seven days. Seven days. So when we mm -hmm. get when we're dealing with astrology, we have to explain to these people that we're not dealing with astrology from the Gregorian point of view, else because they're not dealing exactly. with us in front of the week, not none of that. It's fine. Yes. And at the same time, when you take, we understand, three hours and 43 minutes, and you put it, you understand, seven times three hours, three hours and 43 minutes is going to bring you 24 hours and one minute. Uh -huh. You understand? When, and numerology is still <laughs> Right. So we have to really straighten out the minds of these people, you understand, before we just give them some of the same stuff because we're doing the same thing that they did up. We telling them. A man knows not by being told. The last thing that we understand we want to say about is that the whole demonstration is centered upon who controls the more science temple of America. And I don't see how we got into all these different discussions and we have never even touched the subject matter. We're not finished. We're yes, ready we to close out, actually. Yes, we have. You know how we have? I'm going to tell you exactly how we have. Because you didn't expect to hear it. That's number one. And most people know when they've told you that. Because they want to play games with you. Because they're playing power games. Who's the boss? But when we tell you the science that they are using, it frees you. Because you're running the Moorish movement. 
Because North Carolina Lee said, come on, ye Asiatics of North America, and hear the truth about your nationality and your birthrights. You're not Negroes, you're not black people, you're not colored people or Ethiopians. Learn to love instead of hate. Learn of your ancient mothers and fathers, divine creed. I just gave it to you mathematically. Nothing can be taught in one minute. But I know that demons weren't going to tell you because they want you to honor them. Do you understand? Well, all of you are gods, and I told you and I showed you why. Do you understand? If he told you everything, you go back to sleep, so I gotta give you a taste of it. You know and I know that in no way they won't give you no complete lesson and no lecture. It don't happen like that, it never did, and it ain't going. However, just give you enough to give some things that make sense to you mathematically, because I don't want you to believe anything that we said. I just gave you enough to recognize that you can go cross-check it, and let's talk about Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Guess what? Monday is the moon. Uh-huh. Sunday is the sun. That's right. Saturday is Saturday. Yes, sir. I ain't confused and don't want you confused yourself either. So nobody can even game you. That's all we're getting across. We're not trying to give you exact anything. We're trying to get you rolling out of a stagnant state, out of a believer state, past the faith, not to dump them, but to respect it for what it is and become masterminds. And we don't tell you what we know. We don't want you to follow nobody. We want you to follow what your soul dictates to you. But you got to know how to connect to that soul. you got to know how to activate that pineal gland and that pituitary gland, which has gone stagnant because you've been preoccupied with idol god worship and didn't know it. And let me tell you that Nazarene wasn't no Christian. Nazarene was a Jew. And there ain't no J in Hebrew, so it's above that. Um, you understand? And Jesus, or Yashir, is his name, Yeshua Ben Yosem. That's what Mary named him. And that's what he did his work in. But these thieves and these robbers and these opportunists and those evil rabbis altered the documents. And he was a master mason too. Mother, son. Let me tell you this. Tell you this. They murdered him because what the Nazarene represents is the death of institutions that have been lying to you. The institutions that have been taking your lunch money, stealing the widow's pennies, got you begging in the houses of God, and they told you what the real house is. But I'll tell you this. You go and watch all the architecture of all these houses, and when you notice them red doors, that's the blood of woman cycling. Huh? <laughs> when you see them two pillars at the door, Boaz and Yaquim, that's her legs. Thank you very much. <laughs> and when you walk down that aisle, and you see them pews on that side, them pews on that side, they ask for her children. On both sides, the ovaries. Thank you very much, too. <laughs> and that priest talking about, bless his child, send them money. That's the water breaking. Now I say this, Mom. Be free and free me, your son. Now I ain't gonna play no games of mystery with you because it ain't no mystery about it. And that's what the Lord Science Temple is for. It is time to stop the mystery and free the people. Tell them the truth. And like the Nazarene said, don't you remember the laws that Lot gave Moses on Mount Heron? How come you acting like you don't know the truth? How come you acting like we teaching something different? Ex 
accept that you done fooled yourself with your bull and BS and nobody having nerve to tell you to your face that you got boogies in your toes. No. No. They call it religion. It's nothing personal, but get right. Turn your hearts back to your mothers and fathers. Lest the earth be smitten with a curse. So don't tell me about these conditions. Get back to science. Don't be upset because I told you don't be a believer. I'm saying let your babies be the believers. You be scientists. Grow up and put the crayons away. Nothing personal. I'm like a cold one somewhere on the side. However, let's get real. We respect and appreciate the knowledge come from everybody. But understand this. And this way it is. I'm a soldier. I'll tell you like it is. I have no intentions for my babies or my grandbabies to become nobody's nigger slave no more. And I know, like the prophet said, you better be careful because some of your own brothers and sisters are going to try to put you back in slavery. We came here to Chicago, to Mecca, for the purpose of doing some freedom in this great movement of uplifting for all humanity. We don't want you to say, oh man, they said that man at night. No, we are not important. The movement is important. For you to be better tomorrow than you were today is important. For you to walk before them Romans when they start stealing your birthright and stand up on your square and start protecting yourself and your babies. For you sisters, to be able to go to get your men out of jail that these Romans are stealing in order to attack you, to see you have no security, that we mad at each other, don't recognize a third party demon. Go ahead. Third party demon. Then you have your own telling you, don't talk to them like that. Yeah, because they slipping them a couple dollars in the back. Watch out. Agents. Hey, oh. <laughs> see. Roman means the pale skin nations of Europe collectively. It is not the city in Italy. It is the pale skin nations of Europe collectively. But it does not mean every European is your enemy. Don't mistake that. It just means the principle upon which that order operates has a determination to overthrow all Asiatic African culture in order to enslave you. Because the nature of you being the birthright owner, they own nothing. So they had to steal. And so that's why they burned the books. So you wouldn't know these things. That's why they lynched the prophets and been lynching you ever since. Now that's the real truth. And we ain't mad at them because we border on ourselves. We're turning our hearts on our mothers and fathers. But some of them are helping to fix this thing. Don't think that every European ain't trying to help do this. They're trying to help fix this thing. But we all spooked up. That's what's wrong with us. Don't hate anybody. Learn to love. But the greatest power, the greatest weapon you have is that wound. Because humanity is written on it. Learn how to use it. Don't always worry about feeling good. Learn how to do good. All right? Nice. Not personal. Nice. So we just tell you like this. That's all. Mm -hmm. Come on, family. Yes. Yes. Give it to me. So it is a quest for balance. Yes, that's what it is. That's what it is. And then look at this. And and I'm and I'm, and I'm saying this honestly and sincerely. If those who know have been telling them all the time, we wouldn't have to make this thing dramatic. It would be normalized. Is it accidental that these people of Moabite, Moab, Moorish descent, particularly on the planet, are targeted for certain abuses? And if we knew God so much, how come we keep catching hell? If we so correct, we pray more than anybody else. We got more houses that we keep claiming are the houses of Allah, the houses of Yahweh, the house of the Lord, the house of Jesus. And the next one is the house of hell. We've been catching all of them. And everybody else living off this dead carcass. Well, get up off the ground, Lazarus.
That's who it is. Nor lazy keisters. And we need to get real and understand that things are done with knowledge. They're not done with hopes. But hope is great because it aspires. It gives you a purpose and aspiration. But understand this. We don't just snowed in the city the other day, got a little bit of blowing around this morning. Not much, but but understand if the windows are out here, ain't nobody gonna be sitting in here like it's comfortable. And that wind come off them lakes and blow through these windows. And so you call somebody, we're gonna put some coins together and hire somebody to fix these windows. And they come in, you say, hear the man. And he come in and he put his feet up there talking about keep over live, just believe in everything. Next week, the wind's still blowing through here. Right. And you pay him. You said in one of these days, you know, and there's a promise, and, and then next year, they still, your babies are grow up, they have babies, they still freezing, but people across the street, they go all comfortable. Meanwhile, excuse me, I gotta go pay some taxes over here, and this man over here, and he's a farmer. And you ain't figured this game out yet? Let me tell you, math works. Belief doesn't. The root word of belief is lie. Don't make it wrong means you should understand etymology. But if you study word language and spell ling and casting spells, you wouldn't have felt for this crap. So I'm not against anybody's religion. Don't misunderstand me. Our fathers were the founders of religion. But we are teaching religion and not pseudo-religion. Because true religion frees people. Pseudo-religion keeps you in slavery from a child to a grown-up, and you still got to go back to the preacher, the rabbi, the imam, and ask him, you know, I went in my cabinet and my babies was hungry. <laughs> and the sandwich just had mold on it. And I want you to pray and see if we can get this thing together. Oh, he should tell you put it in the refrigerator the first time. <laughs> I mean, it's really that simple. You don't need no leader. You don't need no leader. If we pay attention to the prophets, if we really pay to the pre attention to the prophets, instead of what people keep telling us about the prophets, we've been free a long time ago. Know you the truth, and the truth will set you free. You ain't been free, so don't tell me you knew the truth. Not personal. That's why we're here, trying to get free. But I challenge you to challenge everything and anything that I say and prove it wrong. Don't say you don't accept, you don't believe it, and you know, I don't need anything to say. Prove it wrong. It's my family. Stand up, bro. The man understands the true self while we be in the state of Illinois, he defines an animal. This is in the compiled state of the statute of the state of Illinois. It's every an animal is defined as every living thing except man. Now, in our modern day understanding of man, the X chromosome, X Y chromosome, being Y being man, how can we further investigate that Y chromosome? Saying our understanding for man, not trying to throw an imbalance to the topic here, and understanding the man's essence and his nature being without being able to exert that Y chromosome, which they claim in our modern day science it creates a male or male child. Let's look at it like it really is. The one as a whole. You ever seen the yin and yang? Huh? Or we sitting here with light, right? All right. Everything that is, everything has electricity in it. Science withdraws it, learns how to deal with it. You never totally encompass it, and you can't see it. But we know we need that black and that white line that conducted to give light. And one does not prove itself, lest it has the other. So technically, there's no good and there's no evil. Technically, there's no male and female. The truth of gender is only an accent of the one pole, of the north and south, of that birth canal. The whole deal is the concept of gender is totally wrong. You know what it is. Because it's the game of pitting men and women together for the masters, evil masters, to rule to separate you mentally when there is no separation, because the one is a whole, and that's the point. And once you understand the science, we're not worried about that little leg. <laughs> Please, come on. You know, we've got to get real. You understand, you can't understand yourself if we 
we look at mother as a separate being that brings everything here. Don't that make sense to you? Huh? Huh? So there's no women problem and men's problem. The problem is with humanity. And since we don't ever give anything, we don't give birth to nothing. You know I don't mean it. Not really. So the deal is when we look at it from those pers perspectives, that's because we're caught in that game of divisionisms. That is designed to pit us against each other and not understand each other and become helpmates to one another. For we are two halves of a whole. We are one. The problem with the oneness is that we've just been mixing any old kind of we walking down the street. Oh, oh, oh it's crawling. Woo. I'm going to run with that. And then you go one with that. Oh man, this stuff is ugly. That's all. Beautiful in the body, ugly in the spirit. Because you keep mating with everything that crawls. Oh, it's wrong. And that's what's wrong. Don't you understand? It's the gratification of the lower self. But a scientist doesn't debase the self to that. Scissors ain't going nowhere. And you ain't either. So be considerate who you take in your bed. That, it's that simple. That's science. That, that's really, really all it is. And that's all you really need to understand. And once we guess what? Happiness will be in your dad's house because you won't have aberrations in the house. So what's happening, we got all these beautiful bodies and horrible characters. Because we keep mixing the wrong elements. But we do it out of ignorance because we gave up the science and took one out of God worship and don't want to admit it. Okay, this, 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 it, is, it is, it's alchemy. It's alchemy. So the deal is women go through cycles even when they're carrying. So you want to do some good? That sister, you know, we get like that and this and Come on, sister, you know what I mean? No, you say, sister, what you need? Comfort her. Do you understand what I'm saying? Keep evil spirits from around her while she's building. Because she's the master builder. Without the sound of a hammer. Or the rasping of a saw. You don't hear that nail being driven. But she's building. A most perfect being. Then you know, you know the gates that she's been in. She may be in any one of these gates that her mother brought her in. So you know the body salts that she's missing in the three houses that she was not. Because you know she was in the tomb for three days. So you make sure you give her the fruits and the vegetables that have them salts that she will long for. And not necessarily in a body that don't mate with her. You make sure she's fine. Then she can focus on what she knows according to her moon and the movement of what she got to build. Now she said, well, now let me look. The sister over here's got them tight earrings on, you know, but we need to build some stuff like this. And, oh, nation needs this. So she checks her clock, and she brings in what's needed. Because you already know the spirit's going to hoover around her, because they choose the mother. And so if her mind is right, you know, she's going to bring a good spirit in then they come here, they come here already educated and start working with their children. You almost have to slow them down. Because they're trying to start off where they left off. Some of them are your own ancient mothers and fathers. You need to understand that. And it ain't spooky either. All you need to do is look in their eyes. If you really know what you're looking at. And then you won't get scared when they come out smart or wise. And there's all stuff. But some of them tell you stuff. Yes, so I'm tell you, hey y'all, uh, get my uh, <coughs> What you talking about? That was my grandmother stuff. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's your grandma. So that's what I have to say about that. But it doesn't dispel what you're saying. We have to be careful to get not to get into the emotionalism that's played to divide men and women in order for those who are the third party demons, you understand, to capitalize on the social problems that they create because we're stupid enough to feed into that crap. Uh, let, let, 
Yeah. So what we want to do, uh, we address that and answer the questions, yes, woman is man and we, you are son of man and those who have, we have the womb, so therefore everything comes in through the womb. If you have a womb, then you will bring that through. Uh, we want to close out with chapter 23. Did you have one question? Oh. Yes. Yes. chapter 23 of the circle seven I think just one more I know you had a question and then we're going to close out you can save them for at the end yeah. um, I, I, I seem to notice that I, I live in Harvey and um, it seems that all during the major streets of Harvey all the billboards have negative images like uh, PlayStation just dropped this new game called Warriors you know that old movie that yeah. came out the game and then when Tupac had this movie with, even after he died called Games even after he died in the show came out of the theater, it's still, the billboard was still up in, in the neighborhood on 63rd for about a year and a half. And I guess, and as I'm riding down the highway, I noticed maybe, I mean, give me clear me on this, that they know our influences from what we see, so they put a lot of negative images. Absolutely. Alcohol, Absolutely. billboards, gym shoes, they, you know, they, they highly value the thug image in rap music when it first started out as a knowledge-based music. And the tempo was different. So, I mean, could you explain what level of consciousness are they working with when they put these images in front of us, especially since they know the youth gravitate to the first things they see? You know? That's why they're getting them while they're young. Mm -hmm. Which is what? Yes, yes but, exactly. But still, these are our children and mothers. Sisters, we are the head of the household with these children, so we need to learn to give them instructions so that they don't fall into that. The children are ha are left now without instruction because the parents, the mothers, didn't have this information. And then we sit and we talk about our children as if there's these foreign, strange people that are outside and apart from us. What's wrong with the children? What's wrong with the children is what's wrong with the parents, both the mothers and the fathers. That's what's wrong with the children, and that's why the responsibility must be taken by us. We cannot let this happen and give away our babies and act as if we don't know who they are. It's not. Uh, you had, no, you're all right, your question is answered? Yes, last question. Yes, all right. Statement I, statement I just made to the Grand Sheik was that if we were in control of our nation, they wouldn't be able to put the, that stuff up anyway. Absolutely. Absolutely. One, one last. Uh, no, we don't want piggyback. We want two pigs here. We want two pigs. <laughs> I stand, I stand correct. Don't curse us with that. It's a known fact when you deal with the other communities. 
In Detroit, I know several different communities, they control every billboard that's posted in their community. Mm -hmm. Our community are the only community that allows anything to come in, be posted, be done. Our magazines, everything, mm -hmm. they all contain subliminal science. Yes. Because they're trying to send our children, and his brother's exactly right. I was in a video store a couple weeks ago talking to these young brothers. I said, these movies were produced when you was born. What do you know about this movie? He's got the game, the game warriors. These movies are out, and this subliminal socialization is taking place because they know who our warriors are. Our warriors are our babies. Absolutely. We beyond that the battlefield now. And they know who's coming up the road, so they already got the cap rounds set up to fill them up with our babies. Mm -hmm. They've analyzed them already. The house, they canceled before. And they also know that we are not training up our children in the way in which they should go. We're not. Yeah. I just, I just wanted, uh, just wanted to submit. If you notice, for for all the Chicago people saying in Detroit, how it is in Detroit, it, uh, uh, most of the billboards are controlled by three different companies. Clear Channel being uh, the, the the most prominent. Uh, you see that across the board. Just check at the bottom of any billboard, and it, 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 the signature is there. And Clear Channel on both of them, but it's only one of three. All right, we, we, but one of three controlling it. Now we need to take control of our nation, which is why we're here. Right, they're doing that because we have dropped the ball on that. And so I say to the parents, to the sisters, chapter 23, out of Circle 7, Quran, Holy Quran. One, consider thou art a parent, the importance of thy trust, the being thou hast produced. It is thy duty to support. Upon thee also it dependeth whether the child of thy bosom be a blessing or a curse to thyself, and an useful or a worthless member to the community. Prepare him early with instruction and season his mind with the maxims of truth. Watch the bent of his inclination, set him right in his youth, and let no evil habit gain strength with his years. So shall he rise like a cedar on the mountains, his head shall be seen above the trees of the forest. A wicked son is a reproach to his father, but he that doth right is an honor to his gray hairs. The soil is thine own, let it not want cultivation. The seed which thou sowest, that, that also shall thou reap. Teach him. And this is where we go into the instructions of the astrological signs, which are in here. We starting with Aries. Teach him obedience, and it's number eight and it's twenty-three. Teach him obedience, and he shall bless thee. Teach him modesty, Taurus, and he shall not be ashamed. Teach him gratitude, Gemini, and he shall receive benefits. Teach him charity, and he shall gain love, Cancer, the mother. Teach him temperance, and he shall have, have health. Teach him prudence, and fortune shall attend him. Leo and Virgo, the players put together. Teach him justice, Libra, and he shall be honored by the world. Teach him sincerity, Scorpio, and his own heart shall not reproach him. Teach him diligence, and his wealth shall increase, Sagittarius. Teach him benevolence and his mind shall be exalted. Teach him, uh, Capricorn, teach him science, Aquarius, and his life shall be useful. Teach him religion, Pisces. If you are at the beginning, you are at the end. Pisces is 360 and zero. You start back over again into the cycle, and you are then washed in the waters of Pisces and recycle back into Aries when the new year starts. The new year is in the spring or the vernal equinox. It is not January 1st, that is the fiscal new year. It has nothing to do with you, nothing at all. So if you do not celebrate the new year when the new year comes with nature, then you are already off the course. And that was purposeful. So he teach him religion for Pisces and his death shall be happy. And with that, we all shall learn more, put training into our uh, knowledge into our astrologics. Peace and love. Thank you.
Islam. Islam. Islam simply means peace. Islam wars. Wars simply mean Lord of the world. Islam. Islam. All praise are due to the Creator. I want to give honor. I have to move quickly because of the time, so I have closed all the books. So I closed all the books with the session of one. Dealing with this subject matter, I gotta leave it alone. I gotta leave it alone. Yeah, and dealing with this subject matter, I closed all the books because, like Grand Sheik stated, we come from, I come, I can't have travel here from Baltimore territory, Maryland State Republic, we come from Philadelphia, we come from New Jersey, to receive and prefer reciprocal help and mutual obligation. And first is our mutual obligation. I'm gonna give honor to the Moors who bought us here and sustained us. Y'all did a very good job. It's the unseen, the government seen, and I, I would advocate that we applaud these brothers' efforts and success. <laughs> as well as the sisters, because I stop and give honor to my wife. Uh, you let it go. You let it be. Because we have the time is gone. And the time has expired rapidly. Because of a lack of discipline. And that's the reality of the matter. Because we have to learn how to disagree without being disagreeable. And I love a hundred of you enough not to hold you up because I want to make a point. It's not fair. And this is what we mean when we say we've got to stop. And I'm not, I'm not pointing a finger at any particular guilty party. I'm saying let us focus on it and let's gird ourselves for the masses. So I want to give honor to my wife for sharing me with the universe, for not demonstrating jealousy and morality, <laughs> and accepting that her husband has made a decision to follow his God and his prophet, and not so much as allowing me, but supporting me and encouraging me to move around the world to carry his gospel. Because dealing with that sorcery, you also have a gospel, which is a good spell. And I'm not one to sit around and argue about a lot of documentation. I am the documentation. All right. Thank you. My words, works, and deeds is the proof of my messiahship. Those who follow the footprints of the prophet are successful. Those who go to and fro the earth seeking whom they may, they may devour, they are fools because they always begin it. And so when we deal with the subject matter of who controls the Moorish movement, it should be real simple. Allah controls the Moorish movement. Because Allah is all. And in the prophet's literature, more than the prophet literature, it makes it very, very plain. And I'm going to say one other thing before I do this. I'm going to be seven, eight minutes, and that's it because of time. we got to get on a plane and go back. And we listen to this tape. And as we examine this video, and this is not to be insulting. I want you to hear how many times we said they, 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 they put the billboard there and burn them down. Bingo. <laughs> Bingo. Pay for them. You see what I'm saying? I ain't talking about them vengeance and violence burning down. If you don't want that in your community, get it taken out of your community. If they want to keep putting it in there, purchase it. Purchase it through so-called arson or by any means necessary, but stop giving they so much power. They only have it because we keep giving it to they. Who is they? <laughs> and our minds keep saying, Mr. Charlie going to do it anyway. Then Mr. Charlie will do what he want in retrospect to you because you give him more power and more credit than he deserves. Now what we must understand real quick, yesterday we were dealing with naturalization, nationalization, and nationality. Don't you know that the European is a moral also? Now I know some of y'all don't want to hear that. But it is your work as a mastermind to bring them back into their right frame of mind. He's a moral too. The European are moral. You can't separate yourself from the human family. They have certain, we have certain things that they don't that that European don't have, but Allah only made one human family. Allah is one, yet he's more than one. As we study those of who do, and something's gonna sound strange to everybody, so I don't have time to try to accommodate and maneuver words. 
the Edo, the, his, the triumvirate all breathed four and seven spirits appeared then. And they breathed four and seven others appeared then. And evil is the, is the science of mixing inharmonious tones. And thus we have a challenge presented to us in the flesh, right in our face, called the Albion, a.k.a. the European. But we keep referring to them as they. We still want to go to them and say, our house burned down. We sick. We demonstrate the possibilities of man, the probabilities of man, and the essence of man. And until we stop saying they and the government, we're going to be our son. We are the government. With us, all members must proclaim their nationality. The pen is mightier than the sword. And as you sign that whatever certification, whatever certificate is used in whatever jurisdiction you go to, to proclaim your nationality, Yankee got to go home. That's exactly why they didn't interfere with Hitler when he came from Austria to Munich in 1913. But I ain't getting that. Right. I'm going to read the prophet words. Who controlled the Moorish movement? I ain't even going to read that because I don't want to take even less time than that because I don't want to impose on my brother's time. Don't have it because we spent time going back and forth about, you know, different things. I'm not saying I'm quite guilty of that because if it's a hundred of us in here, 89 of us may have needed that. You see? And the other ones, we just have to be patient and tolerant. We always, Allah going to meet us at the level of our needs. Right. And one thing you learned, if you was disagreeing with how things took course, one thing you did learn is that you're more patient than you thought you were. Yeah. See, out of, the world, out of the worst, the wise find a means to do good. But the subject matter, who controls the Moorish movement? You do. Study these literature, and you'll find that you got to be something for it. <laughs> I'm trying, boys, because I, I, I'm trying because I want I want to hear from my brother. We, if if this was a different day, and it's not, we would stay here as long as we will. But well, we gotta get on plane. And I've been gone. For, I, I'm gone, no, yeah. I've been gone for since Friday morning. And if we had, if I could wait and take more, we would. But we really have to get on a plane. But I have to read something more because I want you to understand that you are gods. Like Moore said. You control the Moorish movement. And if the one that think they control the move, Moorish movement ain't doing what the prophets say do, you remove them. No one is above the law. You can't get above it because why? Law is what? Left, angle, and whip. How you gonna get above it? How you gonna get around it? It is the angles that it is the angles that come from. So this is not to be offensive by any of those who are sitting in the seat of authority to guide a people, not control. Because anytime you try to control something, it's obvious you out of control. As long as because if I'm spending time trying to control you, that means you got me obsessed, compulsive, and total self-centered. Which means I can't focus on me. But here's what the prophet, here's the prophet words. This is power. Magistrate itself, chapter 39. O thou, this is to the this is to the illusionary. This is to the this is to see the one on one to say it talks about a salt tan. And the salt tan is salt. And this is our leader. But how could he lead if he had no followers? How could he lead if he had no workers? What good would he be if he was unto himself? So we place in the bands of society to receive and confer reciprocal help. And with us, all members must proclaim their nationality, and we're teaching our members their nationality, which are their our what? Citizens. Because that citizens and members is the same. So in dealing with who controls the Moorish movement, you do. You do. Let, the, let me, I'm a, I'm a grand sheep, I'm a moderator, some call me Mac D. I ain't impressed with none of that. But I have jurisdiction over several bodies of Moors throughout different territories. But let me show up, and they don't. 
<laughs> Do y'all hear what I'm saying? So how is it that the leader control the move? Allah speak to man through man. Now if the leader is listening to the messages of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice and activating those higher principles in him of law or the governmental principles, then the people are going to humble themselves not to the man, but to the principles that the man demonstrate, and they're going to follow those principles that Allah speak to man through man. But when that man becomes above himself, that means he comes out of himself, and he starts having out-of-body experiences. <laughs> Where he the only one know anything. <laughs> Where he don't have patience for you no more because he forgot. See, how to not be patient with you when Lord know when they see your face say, Grand she, you gonna get it. I say, Lord, I ain't never get that stuff. I'm going back to wait in the water. Wait in the water. My eyes look. He say, more, that's clip soft. You only gonna know what happened to you. And I know I worked on it there. And I call him sometime and I talk to Brother Todd, I say, boy, y'all forgive me in advance. You see, get, 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 it's an IOU, forget, be patient. Now I'm going to turn around and be arrogant. Oh, you don't know that? You don't know that? I've been teaching you that for three months, and you don't know that? You don't, why come you don't know that? And I'm obese. You got to y'all hear what I'm saying? Yes, Remember that our own imperfection. Yes, I'm sitting there talking to you about you shouldn't drink, and I'm taking a smoke. <laughs> And I still should talk about you shouldn't drink. But I shouldn't smoke. You understand what I'm saying? So when one rises above himself, then he fails to recall from whence he came. You know? From whence he came. So with the leadership in here and I close. You, it says somewhere in the, in the record it say the statesman think he had. The leader think he had. But he find that it's the subject that possesses. We came from Philly, Jersey, and, and Baltimore, is that right? Yes, now, what if y'all did? What would be the point of election? <laughs> See, we got to deal with common sense. We ain't, I, I'm not, no man, it's, it's difficult enough in these days of time and, and boy, I'm striving to be a man. I'm not the man, I'm waiting for that. Do Ali is the mind that surely those that guided me to or create. I'm not going to sit here and tell you no lie. Now that I'm full of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, I'm not going to try to trick you like I figured something out by myself. I ain't know I was a Negro, black, and colored until somebody told me that somebody told them, that somebody told her, that somebody told him that Drew Ali came and ordered this demonstration. Yes, I ain't kicking the prophet off the pedal stool. I can talk the spots off a leopard. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't forgot more Americans about the hypocrisy of man, the higher self, the lower self. I ain't forgot Brad Sheep. When I told them people I stopped eating pork back in the 70s because I wanted to be a good miser. And a man I admire caught me running through John Hopkins' cafeteria with a pork chop coming out of his mouth. I ain't the guy. I <laughs> so examine thyself and stick to what? The wrinkle. And I say it again, boys, I'm not saying it to be mean or evil. Stop wasting time talking about a billboard. You, you should hear how you sound. I'm not striking out or speaking of the individual. I'm talking about the concept. We are doers. We're the lords of the world. We have good leadership. But are we willing to make a sacrifice for the sons of man? Mm -hmm. A billboard? Like you ain't never started a fire. <laughs> Am I advocating for you to go out and do these type of things? And, and you all understand what I'm saying. I'm just using that as an analogy. But they still got it in our neighborhood. What we going to do? Ask them to move. They don't want to move. Bring them down. And you pay for them. Send them back. I'm just with that billboard. Y'all hear what I'm saying? I ain't telling you don't compensate. 
I'm saying, I'm not even telling you to do that, but do something other than keep whining about Mr. Charlie. Mr. Charlie ain't got nothing that you don't give him. Read this in closing, boy. Master, magistrate, and subject. O thou the favor of heaven, leader, whom thy sons, who the sons of men, thy equals, have agreed to raise thee to solve the The people got the power. And they agreed to raise you to it. To act as a womb and guide over them. Because they acknowledge something within you that is admirable. Not that they need you. Because it say thy sons of thy what? Equal. And those who apply the science know that we know how to be. We be on level, is that right? Absolutely. We know how to act, though. We act upon the front line. And then when it's time to park, we part on the square. Yes. But frustration had us mixing our tools up. Now you're trying to take the, the, the boat off the car. You got it flat and you're frustrated and you forgot about the science. Now you need to take that, that nut off the tire and you got a fork in your hand. Crazy man, come back to your senses. We got the tools, we got the applied knowledge. All we have to do more is use it. We got to learn to love and start to hate. We got to address our personal psyche and find out that who control the Moorish movement? We do. Who control this election? You do. You do. You do. Every single one of you are important in the sight of the Creator. Without you, there is no reason for us to be here. But since we are here, we stop by to talk about the God spell. Not religion, but the good spell. Because we have to take and relinquish the bad spell. Dealing with clipsarity. Dealing with the illusions after being in the movement for 29 years and hearing four national grand sheiks talking to each other. Talking about Islam grand sheik. Islam grand sheik. Islam national grand sheik. Islam national grand sheik. Islam national grand sheik. That's why people don't want to keep coming sometimes. They ain't that confused. They know if it's one nation, it should be one national grand sheet. So I'm going to stop here for the question, take one, and pass it on to the brother. Question. Somebody had a question? This one. To explain what you was explaining to us about the um, license plates the other day. The brother man asked for explanation of the license plate that Lord Noble Nature L. Bay sit here. So the response to liability or the honor will be passed to him. But let me say this real quick about this one. This is one. This works. You have one that works, that's great. Let's stop saying his ain't no good because it don't have the eye dot in the creek. Is yours working? You not paying excise taxes by getting one issue from the state? Be grateful to Allah! <laughs> Stop saying this one ain't no good because the brother from Ashbury put this one together and see what he did was he, the eyes separate, is it working? <laughs> arrogance, man. I close with this. The arrogance, you gotta recall the that, that we keep saying prophet, noble jolly, prophet, noble jolly, praise out of our American born prophet. But he told you specifically these lessons are for all those who love Jesus. Now, if you want to see the argument about do this work, do that work, then look at the blessing that Jesus bought. When John came to him, they say, Master, we would be breaking that man down the street because he was doing all these wonderful things. And he was casting out demons in your name. And Jesus said, if he was doing that good work, then why did you rebuke him? You don't know everybody that's with you. But you can recognize with your arrogant self, with your arrogant self, myself included, when arrogance is added to the radio, you can recognize that irregardless to what a man doing or not doing, the principle is the same. The proof of his messiahship is in his words, works, and deeds. How dare you place attack on the good words, works, and deeds, Mr. Arrogant, ill pay? <laughs> if it's working and it's taking Negro black coming out the people 
and they not breaking no law. I ain't talking about no ordinance and regulation. They not breaking no law. Let it be. And be content with thyself. Remember thy own imperfection. You ain't the only one that know how to do something. If, if, if one of us had the answer, we wouldn't have, if one of us, if one of us alone had the entire answer for all the sons, the 12 sons, of the 12 ages, if one of us had the entire complete answer, whether it be applicable or not for the masses, but one that would subdue everybody, there would be no need for this lecture. There would be no need for it. So more, let us regroup, and let us be promised in the spirit, and let us continue on in the principles of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, that that one that we don't know about, because Allah appears to heart, that one that's among us that we don't know about, that need to hear something, let us not cut the flow off. Let us let it add a flow. So that one, and I say to you as I close, two to one, if you're present, and I trust you up. And you have a question for the Lord and Noble Nation Hill Battle. You have a question for Grand Sheep. Remember that we give honor the question. That you are important. That your nickname that they called you and beat you down with forever, you really are somebody. When they took your urine stained sheets and hung them out the window and shame faced you for wetting the bed because they taught you about this boogeyman and then scared you to death at night, you are somebody. Take your fears and put them aside. This is resurrection time. This is liberty time. If you have a question, your question is important to these brothers up here. And it's important to yourself and it's important to the nation. We get honor the question. There's only one dumb question. That's the one that you keep to yourself and most self <coughs> The one that you refuse to answer because you still feel shame-based by somebody telling you you're going to be just like your father. Your father was a dope thing in that jailbird and you ain't disappoint nobody. But now it's resurrection time. Allah forgive, why don't we? Islam? Islam. 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 I'm going to address the question. Before I go into the question, you've been dealing with that subject matter on who controls the Moors movement. It's very simple. And this is why Juan Lee enforced constitutional law. It's because is interchangeably applied. Nine tenths denotes possession. Nine tenths denotes possession. Nine tenths is possession of the law. So whoever controls us is controlling the Moorish movement. Because the Moorish nation controls the Moorish movement. And if they have possession over us as being Moors, then they control the Moors' movements. We're not controlling. Don't mean that we're supposed to accept that. What we need to be talking about is what can we do to gain possession of the Moors' movement. <coughs> COINTELPRO has been put in place to counteract who controls the Moors' movement. Uh -huh. This is why Drew Ali came back upon the scene in 1913. Because our flag was took down in 1774. Joe Ali also emphasizes that out from your Sunday school comes the guidance of the nation. A guide is a director, one who controls, or a controller. So this is why the Moore Science Temple was put in place counter-react that. Now, brother man, you had a question based on the plate. I want you to explain what we was demonstrating about the other day about the significance of the numbers and everything. And what it represents, what it means. All right. I'm holding up, a, and this is a, a tag that we use out in Jersey. Not all the Moors use this tag out in Jersey. But first, I'm going to explain the jurisdiction, because jurisdiction is important even going back to the subject matter of who controls the Moors' movement. Everything is based on jurisdiction. Jurisdiction means authority. So when you hear us in court demonstrating what's your delegation of authority, 
or who gave you the power when you see it, we don't refer to certain uh, people sitting in the East calling themselves judge, we call them magistrate. The reason why is based on jurisdiction. Jurisdiction means authority. Who has the authority? Or where do you derive your authority from? This is what we have to get into. Who has jurisdictions over our individual self? This is why when we go into courtrooms, they ask you, how do you plead? All depending on how you answer, lets him know who has jurisdiction over you. If we don't understand the technicalities of law, then we keep giving up jurisdiction. Our intentions could be, could be well into reserving our rights. But until we understand how to state within a common law venue, then we will keep waiving our divine guidance, our divine authority brought back to us by Noble Drew Ali. Salam. The jurisdiction of the Moorish nation is an independent nation. It has a constitution. It has a flag. We know all these things. That's our jurisdiction. We have our own customary laws in harmony with the Republican constitutions all around the planet. What's being misconstrued is that word republic is not really sitting on our dial plate. Whenever the republic has been overthrown, the jurisdiction and the authority goes right back to an individual. So a lot of Moors get caught up into what plate looks better, or what plate has more authority, or what plate works better than the next plate. What's on this plate don't even matter. If we erase all the words off this plate, and just had these two flags here, that shows our jurisdiction and our authority. This flag here shows our authority. No one can pull rank or jurisdiction over us if all we had on the car on, on, on the on, on the conveyance was just these flags. Because that lets the whoever's pulling us over and questioning us, it lets him know that we're not within his jurisdiction.